Hey, what's up? It's Prince the King. I'm going to show you how to pay off your overstock leasing and how to apply again and purchase another item. With overstock leasing, with progressive leasing, you can get the 90 days same as cash item and that allows you to pay about $50 up front, about $49 to $53 up front, and then you can receive your item and then you pay the item off within three months. And so there are different strategies for the lower items, such as this item that I got, it's about 300. The item was about 250. So what I did was I paid $61, $61. And then I did the 90 day purchase option of 120. That was the remaining balance for the item in the third month. And instead of just paying $61 and continuously paying $61 for several months, all the way until May 29th, 2020, with the remaining lease balance of $553, I chose the better option, the $400 saving option, which was to pay the 90 days lease option. And so instead of paying $553 over the course of several months, I decided to pay it off in 90 days you pay 50 up front you pay about 50 to 53 dollars up front and then you pay down the item there are different methods you can take you can save before you begin the process or in my scenario i just monitor my 90 day same as cash purchase option and i just made a strategy to pay just pay the scheduled payment up until it's time to pay the 90 day purchase option went through the process i was like you know what i'm trying to get this over with i don't want to stress about this anymore so 122 dollars after making up two payments of $61, $61, and I have to get them in the beginning $50 to begin the process. That's the thing about the 90 days, same as cash, and, and it's bad credit. And you don't have other alternatives, then this is a good option for you. And it gives you three months to pay it off. If you need a phone, you have to pay. Okay, so you have to pay $53, $49 to $53 up front, but say that you can have the phone now, pay off the phone over the course of time, and then at the end, right, right around when the 90 day same as cash item comes up, you can slowly pay a little and save a little so i just put aside about 25 dollars every chance i got over the course of the three months i just put aside about 25 20 25 but when it was time to pay out the rest of it i just paid it out and so you can pay and then save pay a little save a little and that probably would help you out along the way and so i uh, go through the process this is the overstock well progressive leasing paying it off schedule the payment three to five days to process as long as the process is there. it says congratulations once processed this payment will complete your lease your account won't reflect this change until your payment is processed pay 122 submit your payment it says payment pending payment scheduled on september 10th 2019 and so i think when i click see my payment schedule it said september 11th 2019 and i got a bit upset because i was like like, what are you what's going on remaining lease balance payment frequency my bank i'm like wait i scheduled it for september 10 why does it say september 11 so i got a bit nervous but then the next day i went to check the account and it said start a new lease time to make a new purchase we're here to help apply for a lease with local stores so basically it says overstock.com louisiana paid off on 9 11 19 and so it's not a crime to pay on time so but make sure that you pay it pay it before the 9 you still probably have an early purchase option but the best option is to pay it off as early as possible probably a few days before the 90 days same as cash to ensure that it goes through in the proper timing another thing i, I realized I, I knew something was wrong i'm like wait a minute like why can't i've i've paid the item off like i was wondering why i couldn't purchase another item and the reason why is because i had to start a new lease i guess every item every purchase is separated probably to where you have to make a lease for that particular item so what you're doing is you're purchasing for specific items you're purchasing for even if it's a bundle but you're purchasing you're applying for that purchase that item i didn't realize that so every time when i went to check to see the payment methods i didn't see Klarna, i didn't see progressive leasing and i was just wondering what was going on and so you have to start a new lease because these these are new items and you might have to do this every time but think about it if you have bad credit it's pretty hard to obtain things out here with bad credit you probably don't want to pay the entire item up front so this gives you a gateway a portal to purchasing the items that you want and you can have them for the cost of paying fifty dollars up front you can have the camera the electronic device that you want you can furniture you can have well there are specific items that progressive leasing allows you just have to check and see but i love 
overstock leasing it's an amazing company i was pretty upset that i was trying to get a new, a new item and i couldn't get it from anywhere else and this pretty much opened the door for me to do some other things as well but it, it was very helpful i'm very thankful for this company and i feel like i can i can get what i want now and i'm going to pay it off because that's my mindset now get it pay it get it pay it make sacrifices along the way if this is an item that you really want the sacrifice is the gift because it's teaching you a lesson along the way so as you're sacrificing to get the items that you want you're learning better habits perhaps maybe you can get an item to make you some money and then build it build a better credit and live a better life so you never know it can be a gateway to helping out your life okay so now we're going to see what type of items we can buy with progressive lacing let's see and so when i reapplied i believe i have about 1450 that i can spend okay so let's just say that i wanted a gh5 let's say the g7 okay so that's shipping the tax estimated so it's 13.98 let's go to check out okay so it said 13 something but when i do progressive lacing it says 1278 so i guess there's probably no tax for my case scenario by me already filling out the by me already reapplying progressive leasing is already set up for me to just click on it and make a purchase i can even buy now pay later with Klarna as well that's another option for me since i know i have 1450 and this is 1278 was like you know what i want a gh5 today i can just get a gh5 pay 53 dollars up front and they'll ship it out and then they'll set up some scheduled payments and i just paid over time 1278 and also with overstock leasing, on the first page of the overstock leasing, you can do an estimated payment to see how much it's gonna cost for the GH5 for me. All I gotta do is press submit order and bam, GH baby. But then you gotta go through the process, believe well, you have to sign a lease. You have to sign a lease or it won't work. So you have to agree an initial in certain areas and that's all with that. And so I'm not gonna buy it now. I'm trying to save some money. I'm trying to make calculated moves to get the proper items that I want. Like since I got 1450, I can purchase several different purchase gimbals, I can purchase lenses, I can I can prioritize what's important to me first and then get the item that I want. If I want a cell phone or other items as well. So yes, maybe the opportunity to make a calculated move at precise moments. Okay, so now we're going to see how much it's gonna cost with the estimated payment calculator. So on overstock.com leasing, we click on flexible payments. Estimated payment calculator. Select your state, the price of the item, 1278. Select the payment frequency monthly. And let's see how much it appears that the 90 day purchase option number is probably a bit more than the cash price. So the cash price is 1278, but because you're doing the 90 day purchase option it's probably going to be 1405 you won't know until you go through the processes to see how much it's going to be and that's still okay that's that's okay i mean a gh5 is about 1500 right now so that's that's pretty good that's pretty good okay so you will make monthly payments of 240 for the first two months well the first two months so it's not too bad it's bi-weekly about 120 so every time i get paid 120 120 120 120 the only problem with that scenario is is that you still will have a lot to pay for the 90 day purchase option so this will be a bit harder unless you have some funds stored up somewhere if you save beforehand before you begin the process if you save about 30 percent or 40 percent of the total amount depending on how much money you have the job you have your living situation that can determine whether or not you go through with the processes i find it a bit hard to pay the 1400 so i'm probably gonna hold off try to save a bit pay down some stuff release some money and make it a bit easier for me to get this item so but if i just decide to go back and get like a g744 what it was 478 let's just say 499 for a g7 this is a bit much easier monthly payment of 93 dollars so every time i get paid about 47 dollars every time we get paid 47 47 47 47 200 and then uh, the 90 day purchase option i would have to cough up about 300 and something dollars that's a bit easier more practical it makes more sense right now something to shoot interviews and something to get started with if you are just getting into photography or whatever you do you have to pick the item that's going to work for you and with the overstock payment calculator this allows you to see beforehand what you're going to go through before you go through a process and that will make it much easier for you this is just a guide to help you go through the process the decision is ultimately up to you so if this is something that you truly want and you're willing to make the sacrifices and pay everything off with in the 90 days then i give you my full permission to go get it it's yours but remember you have to pay the initial payment of 49 dollars. see that right there yeah that's about it 50 dollars comes out about 53 50 something but if you don't 
paid off in 90 days, you will be paying almost double. So, but as you can see, I, I paid the item off within 90 days and I saved about 400 and something dollars. Overstock leasing or progressive leasing. I like it, bad credit people. This is for you because you could just give them 50 and, and then they give you time to pay it off, make a strategy beforehand. You can decide to pay more. You don't have to just pay the small amount. You can create, I try to make some videos about 90 days, same as cash where I would save beforehand and maybe get a small loan, a small loan perhaps if you can from a company. I think that you should truly choose overstock leasing. They've changed my life. They've made it better for me and I am very thankful. So I want to pass on my gift to you. So go out there, get the item, enjoy your life. Overstock leasing with progressive leasing.